Hello all, this is Dr. Shilpi Reddy and we are going to talk about vulvar cancer. Vulvar cancer is one of the reproductive tract cancers which is uh, not very common in incidence but yes we definitely need to know about this, this kind of cancer. There was one viewer who was insisting me on doing a, you know, a, a small video on this. And uh, people need to know what vulva is. Now, if we have to talk about vulva, it is, uh, you know, the area of skin that surrounds uh, the urethra and the vagina, including the clitoris and labia. So, uh, it is almost in a semicircle uh, kind of a shape near the vaginal entry. Now, vulva uh, cancer commonly forms either a lump or a sore or uh, you know chronic itching area and uh, you know they are usually seen in elderly people and uh, you can even have a doubt whether it is cancer or not only if you have these complaints for a very long time especially uh, the itching part is very high and there are patches of uh, chronic ulcerative lesions or any kind of a nodules that happen and uh, you know the diagnosis is not very difficult but though people tolerate uh, these kind of problems for a very long time and present very late that is the most important thing that we are having uh, you know difficulties to deal with and when we have to talk about you know symptoms of vulvar cancer uh, it can be anything ranging from itching that doesn't go away any pain any you know tender area and uh, any abnormal bleeding that is coming from the skin area or uh, any you know thickening of skin any soreness of the skin that has been lying for a very long time a lump kind of a thing or uh, you know uh, an ulcer kind of a thing in the vulval area so the vulval area is pretty much visible so it is very important that you have to be watchful about anything that is happening around the vaginal area uh, especially the uh, you know uh, labia and all these area and any abnormality you have to report to the hospital as soon as possible and any problem you have to report to the doctor you just you just shouldn't use any kind of an ointment randomly out of your old prescriptions and keep pending that uh, problem and then come in a very uh, you know bad state and there, there are several several causes for vulvar cancer and uh, the type of vulvar uh, cancer depends on uh, the you know the report usually uh, there are two different types of vulvar cancer uh, the squamous cell carcinoma uh, that is uh, the skin cells that give the cancer changes and uh, another type is the melanoma in which the pigmented uh, you know uh, cells are responsible for this kind of cancer so either it is squamous cell carcinoma or it is a vulvar melanoma that we usually see uh, when we have to talk about causes, you know, anything that is chronically lying and chronic problematic uh, uh, issues, they slowly change down into cancer. And uh, uh, there is another very important virus called HPV virus for which there is a vaccine in fact. And the HPV virus uh, is one of the reason behind vulvar cancers uh, and also cervical cancers. So HPV virus vaccine. Uh, there are two brands of it, the Cervarix and the Gardasil. These two brands give very good coverage for HPV virus infection. And in fact, the vaccine can be taken as young as 9-year-old uh, child and as old as 42-year-old. So there's a varied range of age that you can get vaccinated. And this vaccine gives protection against the HPV DNA virus and uh, it is very you know easily available it is not very much expensive also and there are uh, places that uh, they are vaccinating young girls for these kind of vaccines so that they have prevention against not only these find uh, these kind of cancers and also cervical cancer also and uh, when we have to talk about what actually is the risk factor uh, for these kind of vulval cancers uh, you know high age uh, women especially the increasing age more than 60 65 years any cancer tendency is usually seen at that time uh, being exposed to hpv virus as i have told you uh, there is more incidence in people who smoke there is uh, more incidence in people who have weak immune system like hiv 
or <clears throat> immunocompromised people like post transplants and all these things and they have when when they have low immunity they have little more chance of having the infections they have little more chances of having cancers and uh, and any skin conditions of the vulva that are chronic skin conditions irritating nagging problems causing lots of uh, you know uh, there are areas which have lost pigment like a lichen sclerosis all these areas which have become dry itchy flaky and uh, you know chronic ulcers all these places can form cancer and they have a tendency and uh, how do you prevent it people ask me how do you prevent uh, vulva cancer but when it comes to prevention always i prefer prevention by good lifestyle measures by taking a vaccine the hpv vaccine is definitely there you, you all young girls need to be vaccinated and you have not taken the vaccine you are between 9 and 42 years definitely you can take vaccine and before taking vaccine for somebody who's 30 35 40 year old sexually active you you can check your hpv dna status there are swabs that uh, give your hpv virus infection status and then if it is negative you can take your vaccine and uh, if even if it is positive you need to be watchful and do your regular pap smears and examinations with the doctor annually that is really really important not uh, about you know con- contacting any problem but prevention and being watchful is always better and uh, and people who are having unprotected sex it is very important that you use some kind of a barrier contraception like a condom or a diaphragm on a regular basis before even even having uh, you know random sex so it is very important that you should have uh, some kind of a barrier before even having uh, unsafe sex so it is important that uh, as a preventive mechanism having safe sex and also uh taking a vaccine is important in these problems and uh, uh there are people who ask you know how do we even diagnose uh vulva cancer is easy to diagnose because it is external you know it is on the skin and it is around the um, vagina that it is in uh, around the vaginal entry it is you can obviously le- uh, you know any problems or any skin problems are usually visible and uh, uh, you have when you examine the vulva it doesn't look normal and you know you can use a magnifying lens at times we need to use a magnifying lens at times to look how does it look and uh, a biopsy can definitely definitely give a, an, an insight into diagnosis of vulva cancer and the type of cancer that is showing if it is benign it will show benign lesion if it is malignant it will show malignant and what kind of a cancer it is it will definitely show and it is always important that you recognize early you know pre cancerous lesions are also very irritating and you can catch any problem in pre cancerous lesions only and uh, if you're watchful and uh, that is the importance of screening and going for an annual checkup on a regular basis for pap smear when you are getting your pap smear done obviously if there is any problem on the external area we can be uh, watchful and we can check for you and we can uh, advise you on uh, the basis of the problem that we see and when you are, are diagnosing cancer definitely you have to diagnose how uh, you know how much extent it has gone into so there are uh, there are tests that we usually do to check the cancer spread like ct like uh, mri like pet ct to l- look for any other uh, metastasis or any other cancer uh, that has spread uh, in the adjacent areas and into the lymph nodes that drain the tissue so it is important that we need to be very very watchful and uh, as far as treatment is concerned if we diagnose it early the surgical mode of treatment is extremely uh, good it has got good results but then it all depends on the staging if the staging is early staging the cure is faster if the staging is advanced then uh, you know uh, if the margins of the tissue that we remove are healthy and it is not shown any kind of a spread then the outcomes are good if the margins show some kind of an extension or it is extensively involved then removing the entire vulva has to be uh, you know we have no choice in that and uh, we also need to go and check the lymph nodes which are draining and we need to check what all uh, extent the cancer has gone into and after removing the lymph nodes when we test if the lymph nodes are negative then again the survival chances are much better if the lymph nodes are positive again you have to look into options like radiation therapy 
chemotherapy and there are in fact nowadays extensive modality, modalities of treatment like uh, targeted drug therapy is there, immunotherapy is there and uh, these kind of uh, treatments definitely give a very long term outcomes and outcomes that are uh, you know very good in terms of giving you life uh, a little more longer life expectancy and the cancer any given point of time has a very long uh, you know incubation period or a very long precancerous period and whenever we can catch in that uh, kind of a period definitely the modality of treatment is extremely different you have precancerous lesions they are easy to uh, recognize they're easy to handle and easy to get the uh, you know get it removed and surgical do job done and even if you recognize in early cancerous stages the treatment is very good the results are very good the only problem is usually uh, you know elderly women they neglect and they come in late in presentation and an advanced stage uh, there are different modalities of treatment but then the success rates are limited to kind of staging that they are in uh, effectively nowadays immune therapy is doing very good job targeted drug therapy is doing very good job uh, for many kind of cancers uh, and post cancer therapy regimes and uh, this is all about vulva cancer and being watchful is important safe sex is important vaccination is important annual screening is important early diagnosis is important precancerous lesions watchfulness is important any chronic itching chronic changes in the skin texture uh, skin lesions or chronic infections have to be watchful and examined by a biopsy as soon as possible and anybody who is having a problem you have to enroll yourself in an annual checkup that is mandatory for all women in reproductive age group and all adolescents have to be taught practices about safe sex and vaccination at the earliest thank you